Hi everybody! In this video, I want to continue our discussion with compound sentences. As I mentioned in the last video, there are two types. One was the less formal compound and the more formal compound. And in this video, I want to talk about the more formal compound sentence. So, the more formal compound sentence, it's the same as the less formal compound in that there's two independent clauses that are connected by some kind of connecting word. And in the more formal compounds, it's the transition word or the conjunctive adverb. These are words that are in, such as however, in addition, therefore, for example, and for instance. These are transition words. So transition words can be used in the beginning, in the middle, or the end of the sentence. So I might say Jenny likes cats, however, she dislikes dogs. That's very similar to the less formal compound manner, where you have the independent clause and an independent clause, and there's a, connect, or a connecting word in between. Um, however, Matt likes cats, he dislikes dogs, however. So here is an example of its use at the end of a sentence. Jenny likes cats. Joe, however, likes dogs. So there are different ways that we can use transition words. And I'd like to focus a little bit more on the first type where the transition word is between the ideas. So uh, the difference between the more formal compounds and the less formal compounds is that transition words connect ideas between two sentences. They show a relationship. And you can punctuate it in two different ways, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, however, they don't connect the clauses within a single sentence, meaning they don't make just one sentence, like the less formal compound type. So coordinators can make one sentence. You can take an idea and an idea and combine it, and it's one idea. But transition words are just showing the relationship. So if I were to say, Jenny likes cats, comma, however, she dislikes dogs, that would be wrong. I can't say that. If I want to use that kind of structure, I would have to use but. I could use however if I, for example, in the first part, put the period and the transition and the comma. So I can use the punctuation like you see in the sentences above, but I cannot use the punctuation like you see below. We can start sentences with transition words, and so this is a special thing. We, we shouldn't do this with coordinators. So for example, I could say my family always gets together with our relatives at Christmas, in addition, we have a big family picnic on the 4th of July. So here you can see that I've started the sentence and the comma comes after. I cannot do this way. So with the less formal compound, I cannot start a sentence that way. So just avoid that. If the connection between the ideas is really, really strong, there's a strong connection, we can use a semicolon with the transition word. So on Independence Day, Americans meet with their friends and family for barbecues and picnics. In addition, most cities have big fireworks displays. So you can see here that the ideas are very closely connected. So we can use the semicolon to say, it's not quite a full stop, but it's close. <laughs> So the two ways to punctuate it is the, you have the independent clause and another independent clause. And most of the time, you're probably going to use a period, transition word, and a comma. But if the ideas are really strongly related, you can use a semicolon, the transition word, and a comma. And as really important with transition words is that they have, they express meaning. So you'll always want to choose your transition words wisely. If you want to show addition, 
you can use words like also or furthermore. If you want to show contrast, you could say however or on the other hand. If you want to show result and effect, you could say therefore or thus. If you wanted to show time and sequence, you could say first, second, third, then. If you want to show condition, you can use otherwise. If you want to show an example, you can say for example or for instance. If you want to summarize or conclude, you could say in summary or in short or overall. So these are um, different meanings that transition words have. and. Basically, you just have to memorize them. So finally, um, what I want you to do is pause the video here and then write the four sentences in your notes. I want you to circle the subjects, underline the verbs, and then put triangles around the connecting words. The connecting words in this case are transition words.